I've noticed a lot of authors and writers and filmmakers and artists will release albums on specific days. Right. Yeah. Meaningful sure. days. Yeah. Like even I found out that John Lennon was interviewed on 9-11 the same year that the World Trade Center was finished constructed. That when they finished building it, yeah, the same day, like yeah, it was like not no yeah, but that's no, just that's got to no he what, was what? on the news or he was fuck I forgot what I even but said but what now. would John Lennon I mean I don't know I have a theory. you could say anybody you could you could a find theory. a mil you could find a fucking million celebrities who were interviewed on nine eleven mm, yeah sure. I'm sure of that but not one that not was the killed. not the date the towers were were dropped but right. I'm saying like no, any nine eleven before that. No, John Lennon's been de dead since 81. So, like, I think he was trying to whistleblow a lot of stuff. And I think he knew that they were building the World Trade Center to tear them down. What? Yeah. To manipulate our society to do something called manufacturing consent. So, yeah, we were talking about the Beatles earlier. And how the Beatles may or may not have been used by our press and our media to kind of tone down the feelings about JFK being assassinated. And then it's the reason they needed to get rid of JFK was because they needed to build these buildings. And he was already trying to spill the beans about secret society. If you listen to JFK's last speech before he was assassinated, he clearly brings up that they're a secret society and they're getting away with like the most atrocious things you'd ever mm -hmm. imagine. Right. Yeah. He said he's the one that coined the term conspiracy. Is he really? Yeah. Basically without speech, he's like, there's a conspiracy that is so beyond any human's comprehension. Like that's what he sounds like when mm. he says it. It's he's like literally addressing the people like, could you imagine all the shit that he knew? Hmm. <clears throat> well, he was the the CIA wanted to get rid of him because of the Bay of Pigs, right? Because he didn't want anything to do with that stuff, right? He did, yeah. He was trying to like get rid of all that. So, like, I think that they couldn't even get away, or they already had the plans on building the World Trade Center. And like, do you know when it was built? Mm -mm. It was built in nineteen sixty. 1968 was when they first started breaking ground for the first tower, but like they had to have already been kind of uh, organizing the city sure. to build something that big. Definitely. Since like probably 66. Wow. So I almost feel like the funding of the moon landing might've been to fund other things involved with those towers Siphoning the in funding the money over there. of the moon landing. Yeah, just the money that they pulled in. And then I also think the moon landing, like, sure, great, we landed there, right? What was the real objective to put televisions in every home? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The television is used as a tool to make people move this way and move that way and look at this and look at that. Were there TVs already during the moon landing? There were, but they're people not. Watch, yeah. So what is the, is, the, is the idea that if something so extra, like so groundbreaking is happening that if you don't have a TV, Everybody you felt like wants to watch. you yeah. felt left out of the it loop. It would have been like Facebook right. Right. 10 years after Facebook. Yeah. Because <laughs> some people didn't care the whole time. Right. We were also racing with, what, we were also care. like had the space race, like we were trying to do it before Russia, right? Or That would have been, maybe they were working together just to put <laughs> televisions in our homes. Yeah. Get your TV. Get it fixed. Mm. Nowadays, we got like 50 televisions in every room. I know. I was just got thinking about televisions that. in our pockets. I was just trying to like read televisions while we're driving. Mm -hmm. Everyone, like, every room in your house, like you base the toilet the, bowl. You base the layout TV of TV on. You base the layout of the room, every room in your house, based on where the TV is going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I have this idea for a film I'd really like to make, but I don't have time or money, so it'll never happen. What's it about? <laughs> Maybe I'll help you make it. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking that'd be cool, dude. So it'd be about this character that has a disease called hypergraphia. It's this addiction to writing, uh -huh. right? Like it keeps me up all night writing and writing and writing. Yeah. So this character would 
have a house that has all this writing written all over the household, like the furniture. Walls and shit. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is that, I don't know, I think you'd start the movie out, like the pan and the words and everybody involved, right? And you're just panning across all this furniture, just with all this manic writing on it. And that would intrigue, like, somebody, like, whoa, what's mm-hmm. going on? This is not normal. And then, like, maybe somebody's knocking on the door, invites themselves in, and then they find the dude that's writing, and he's still writing, like, in a different room on some other furniture. But then I was thinking, like, the he's writing about stuff, and this stuff is going to be related to these little facts and these little connections and these little dots. So, so it would be basically, like, the way a detective's room works when mm-hmm. they're using those uh, – strings and stuff you know what i mean mm-hmm. like this connects to that and that connects to this so and like i was thinking having the television in the middle of the room would and then having all the information coming off of the television so like each room has like different information that kind of goes along with the room it's so like the living room might have information about the moon landing and like other things that are hugely televised what were the two biggest televised things 9-11 and the moon landing and maybe now covid Mm because it's been on the news for two years they win yeah they win (laughs) wow they beat the moon landing and god damn with money and like marketing and basically media yeah so it's like what if the moon landing was really just to put televisions at everybody's homes and then the world trade center was really just to like put people under the spell of you're under control. Like there's nothing you can do about it. You got to rely on the government. Interesting. Yeah. It's a fear tactic. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's crazy is my grandfather was, I never knew my grandfather on my mother's side. So I, I've only met my mom's father one time and he was the foreman of the iron workers union that built the world trade center. So I grew up with my mom telling me about going to the World Trade Center while it was being built. That's really the only reason I even looked up. When was it being built? Mm -hmm. Because who thinks about that? When was the build? When was the construction complete? What year? Do you know? 1971. See, and that's why I think John Lennon. What year were you born? On to national television, knowing that they finished it and knowing that they might have planned on doing this thing on 9/11. What year were you born? And think about it. When was a nine one one created as an emergency phone call? Mm, I don't like remember. nobody remember even thinks about those details. Like when? Hold I'd on have a to second. Look it up. You said you you grew up with your mom trying to get you to go lo- watch <clears throat> your. No, my mom grew up in New York while the World Trade Center was being built. Okay. Yeah. And your mom so went to go see her girl. dad building it. Yeah, she probably went to the ceremonies when yeah. it was done. <clears throat> I think. Yeah, and I I looked up, like, who uh, built the buildings, like, the architect. Because mm-hmm. it was, the company that built it was called Koch. My mom told me that. And I've looked it up. And it's kind of misleading, some of the stuff about the World Trade Center. It's like, you can't really, f- I couldn't find my grandfather's name involved anywhere. Yeah, but I'm I sure it would be kind of hard. It's not made up that... He was part of this. My mom even showed me like a card that they gave them for the holidays, like the year they finished it. Nice. So like I have like proof no one else would ever have. Mm-hmm. And what is this? What is this, Austin? Manufacturing consent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's basically like if I tell you that you need security on your home and then you're like, oh, I'll be all right. And then I rob your house the next day and don't tell you that I did it. And then I convince you, you sure you don't need that security? It sounds yeah. like you need it now. Yeah. Mm. I was even thinking that maybe the Manson murders, what if they were staged in L.A.? And what if they were used to popularize security? Because what was security like in L.A. before then? Mm. Probably low. You know what I mean? Mm. February 16th, that's when... Same year. Same, same year. year. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Connecting dots all day. 
I so didn't so nine crazy. one one. I told you I'd have to. Emergency that hotline was created the same year that the that World Trade Center was built. No. And guess the guy that the, <laughs> the, the architect that built it. Guess what else he built? Danny's mind blown right now. <laughs> he built the Federal Reserve. It, kind of, it just what? Connected. Yeah, bro. Who is what's his name? I don't know because it's. He's, hey, he's by the way, Japanese. this episode he's is hundred percent getting shadow banned on YouTube. <laughs> he's yeah. Japanese. He is. What's he created, created what? The Federal so Reserve? I, I was already saying, I think that our governments, when we were talking about Pearl Harbor and yeah. the, the bomb being dropped, mm -hmm. right? I thought our governments were like, hey, you let us do this, we'll let you do this. We both win. We know what these bombs will do. We terrify every other country in the world. Right. Look, we win together. Because there's like a massive connection between Japan and Hawaii. There always has been. Mm -hmm. LBJ that ended up in office after JFK. He's actually directly related to Obama. How so? Like their bloodline. They're, oh, really? It's like his uncle or some shit. So Obama's from Hawaii. <clears throat> and mm. that's where LG, LBJ like spent. A that's lot where of his Pearl time. Harbor was. Mm hmm. Yep. Interesting. And then the, what was the last quarter that came out <laughs> with the bat symbol on it? Yeah, right when Batman. COVID hit. That's weird. That was pretty bro. weird. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? How weird is that? And then Why contagion. did they do that? Contagion. But did it's you see that, the last what scene? The, but it, they bring it to the bat. I've never seen Contagion. Really? I didn't either until it was on TV. I've the seen other it day. before, but I don't remember. So see, been a they're long broadcasting what we want, they want us to believe. Like, television has been used to broadcast. Well, I don't know. It's about. Yeah. 